Hello, everybody. This is From Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodwill, and over there we have John Lewandowski. Hey. All right. This is just an update for those of you on Facebook. Uh, for those of you on YouTube, your first glimpse of this. So um, yeah. many moons ago, I I can't believe I'm saying that. I've already been doing this for three years now on my third season. Um, I just wanted to give a little update. Uh, first off, our show is sponsored and brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker. Hockey Locker is a store in Milwaukee that is right across the street from Wilson Park. I had shopped there as a kid. Um, I have a connection to that store in, in, in my personal life and in my soul kind of thing. I bought all my gear as a kid from there and, and, and all that. So Hockey Locker has been an amazing setup for hockey in Milwaukee. They outfit Shaw Youth Hockey. Um, you could go in there if you have kids that are in Shaw Youth Hockey and they have an entire area dedicated to that. Um, they sell all kinds of hockey uh, equipment from ever from the top brands to middle brands. Um, they have fan gear, um, including stuff like, hang on a second. All right, stuff like this and this and that and this so they have stuff like that they have that admiral's jersey that john's wearing they do sell them yeah. there they have the blue one and i believe they have the white one for those of you that are still a little bit about panicked about covid sorry about that folks about the little thumping there it was kind of stuck they do sell bauer covid masks very effective Limit the spread. Bauer has been making stuff for nursing for years. Um, so uh, they do sell uh, Bauer COVID masks. Um, um, also, uh, Milos uh, is the uh, current owner. Uh, he works, uh, he is from Czech, the Czech Republic. Um, if you uh, are a fan of their store, please don't feel afraid to pick up some of their swag. They do have their own line of uh, shirts and stuff, hoodies. Yeah. Uh, I have a COVID mask with their logo on it with ice, like broken ice. Um, you can also get little things like this that are on your everyday use. All right, you can get stuff like this for those of you hockey moms out there. And if you're a hockey mom... There's a hockey dad. So you can get cool stuff like that from over there. They have little wood plaques that you can have. for. They have uh, baby clothing uh, for, uh, I believe, the Blackhawks, Red Wings, and Bruins. Uh, I bought them out of Preds stuff. Sorry, Preds fans. <laughs> um, so uh, with all that, uh, Hockey Locker has been great to us as far as some of that goes. Yeah. Um, we have a a uh, constant talk, uh, conversation with them about once a week um, or every couple weeks about anything we can do to help. Um, mm -hmm. Our goal is to grow the sport of hockey in the state of Wisconsin. Being so close to Minnesota yep. and Chicago and Illinois, we are a good hotbed of hockey. Also, think about it this way. We have one of the top-ranked college schools for women's hockey um, in the Badgers. Um, the women's Badger okay. hockey team, um, they have uh, won cha seven championships. The men have won three. Um, so uh, the men are, are, are stacked for years to come. Uh, it, it, yep. It's always fun. I, I love the Badger band when they come to Admirals games. Um, our, goal, oh, yeah. our goal here really is just to grow the Admirals and Preds and Everblades fan base. Now the Everblades, Let's get into that real quick before we get into the Admirals. Now, the Florida Everblades have been part of our system for a year and a half now, almost two seasons uh, with the Admirals not playing. Made it a little complicated this year, but, um, you know, they've developed players like Tanner Janot. Right. What do you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, I know Tanner Janot. 
<laughs> I've uh, met the guy on a couple of occasions. Great hockey mind, great hockey player. Uh, yeah. Their coach down there is a good coach, um, and uh, Brad Ralph. Um, they got a good system. They got some good fans. Uh, their team is pretty much taken care of by their fan club. They pay for their housing. They make money. They feed them. They they take them where they need to go if they want to go somewhere. They do a lot of stuff there. It is a really good organization, well run. Um, yeah. Uh, as far as that's about as far as I know, they have won the Kelly Cup twice that I know of. They probably have a couple more that I don't, but at least the two that I do know of. Um, uh, and then we get to the Admirals here. The Admirals have been around for over 50 years now. And yeah. uh, one of the luxuries we have as Admirals fans is seeing guys like Pecorine, Shea Weber, Ryan Suter, Roman Yossi, uh, mm-hmm. Philip Forsberg, Victor Arvidsson. We even saw P.K. Subban when he was with uh, the Hamilton Bulldogs back in the day. Um, the, yeah. the luxury of being in the AHL is that it is where you go to learn how to be a pro. There, in the yep, ECHL, you learn to be an adult. Uh, he, at this level, you learn to be a pro, and and they teach you what it takes. There are guys who get taught how to make cell phone, get cell phones because there's some guys that just don't know how to do it. There are guys right. who are learning how to pay bills, buy cars, buy houses, buy apartments, get these things done. Um, so. Um, and, and with the language barrier of hockey going from anywhere from Russia to Finnish to Swedish to, you know, um, French, yep. you know, the Canadians, some Canadians only speak French. They right. don't even ever earn, they, they never learn English. Um, so uh, with that being said, there's a lot that goes into that, um, you know, and uh, the reason that we, uh, I will get to the reason why we were created in a minute, but um, uh, the reason that we are named from Milwaukee to Nashville, because everything that Nashville, like Peccaria Day behind me, um, <laughs> the reason that, uh, Nashville is good all the time or can stay competitive a lot is because of what we do down here. We will turn nothing into right. something. We will take a guy like... Tanner Janot or Freddie Gaudreau. Freddie Gaudreau being a good example during that cup run, nobody knew who he right. was when he went nope. up there and and, and, it, and just played lights out. Um, also, kudos Freddie for the uh, three apples yesterday in uh, your game uh, with Pittsburgh. Um, just a little alumni news. Shout out, Freddie. <laughs> Um, I do like to give credit where credit is due. I do keep track of yeah. Admirals alums. Um, we are very proud to have players in the NHL. doesn't matter if it's with Nashville. There's, As an Admirals fan, there's pride in that. Pride in development. Yes, there is. Now, is it frustrating when we're on a roll and somebody gets called up? Yes, but we also know that's part of the game. And it's part right. of the business. Because if you're on a roll, you deserve to be the next level. It means you're playing above yeah, everybody yeah. else and on your team. And, you know, there are times where guys are just clicking together and they don't get called up, but that's fine because right. you need those guys. Um, you get good guys like Jared Tenorti, who was our last captain that uh, w- w- during our playing season, who is now with Boston and has played a, now a full year in the NHL. Um, we can't be more yeah. happy for, for people that get these right. opportunities. You know, um, these opportunities, you cannot let them slip. And, no. and what we develop are guys who make the most of them. Um, so in that regard, Nashville, Nashville has been around for roughly about since 99, um, 99 is their initial year. Um, kudos to Wade Miley. You just threw a no hitter for the Reds, (laughs) former brewer. Also perennial sponsor for the Milwaukee Admirals is, uh, the Milwaukee Brewers. Uh, they're on the front of all their jerseys, um, not owned by the Brewers. Even though the Admiral's ownership owns part of the Brewers, it goes vice versa. Right. And it goes hand in hand, and sometimes you get a working relationship. Works for me. Also, the uh, Admiral's president, uh, 
Hey, John. <laughs> um, he is uh, he is a former employee of the Brewers as well. He worked in their business yep. department. Um, the Admiral's front office and office staff are some of the greatest people I've met. Some of the and some of the players that have come through here. I always say this to this day: Pecorini is the nicest guy I've ever met in my life. Um, along yeah. with Tristan Grant, Ken Sabrin, Kelsey Wilson. I'm just rattling off names here, but some of them you may know, some of them you may not, some of them you may have heard of right. because of bad things, but off the ice, they are great people. Um, and yeah. that's one thing that I really like about being in this position. I've met some bad ones, um, and I'm not going to get into that as well, but uh, it, it, the luxury of all of this is when we look at it, Nashville's success thrives from us in Florida. Um, when it comes right. to those, Tedder Janot went to Florida this year, scored four goals, got called up, played amazing for the Wolves, got called up, yep. now playing him, has more points than Duchesne since April 13th. Right. He's just playing lights out. And, and you can't knock a guy who's just burying guys. Yeah. You know, he's just burying them. You think of the wrestling term meaning bury, meaning to, like, you're to the back of a line kind of guy. You you just got owned, kind of. You know, right. and uh-huh. he's doing that to people. He's hitting people. and, and yeah, well, he is. Um, but these things are all nice to have. Now, on to why we were created. Okay, well, why we were created was um, there used to be a, a blog called the Admirals Roundtable. Um, there was a falling out between them and the Admirals to why I don't, I'm not privy to, to what happened, none of my business. But what I will say is that it lit a fire under me to fill a void me and John and a few other friends used to sit around and talk about games after games. And I came up with the brilliant idea of let's put a camera in front of. (laughs) (laughs) Let's put it this way. At the start of this, we were nowhere near where we should have been. We should have took the time to work on it right away, prepped it and been doing what we're doing now, two years ago. But we're learning. We don't have these college educations. We're not media trained. Um, so all of these things come in handy. We're hockey guys. We're tr- we know yeah. hockey. We know the game. And that what's, that's what makes us different from most media guys. Most media guys are trained, never played, unless you're talking about right. like TV analysts, which in that case, those guys are all, you know, retired players right. or go or retired coaches or coaches who can't get a coaching job right now. Um so with that I would also like to thank people like Robert Sharp, uh Tommy from the Everblades, and uh uh Scott Nelton. Um all of you uh, Scott Nelton, a huge Preds fan. Robert Sharp, huge Admirals fan. Also part of our group of here from Milwaukee to Nashville. And Tommy, who uh, is a, uh, me and him have conversations about every other week or so. But uh, this is what we do. That is what we do here at, from Milwaukee to Nashville. We cover everything Admirals, Predators, Florida Everblades, and some NHL news. Um, for the NHL news, go to YouTube. YouTube is where our key spot for all news goes. If you don't right. see something on Facebook, like if there's not a game recap, go over to YouTube. You will find it. There will yeah, be we- nights where we go, too tired. YouTube, click. <laughs> all right. You know, and, and then I'll upload in the morning. So if you want it that night, Always check YouTube. YouTube always gets it first, just on the basis that Facebook uploads slower. Right. And there may be nights where I don't want to sit there for a half hour uploading one video where all the details are done. All I got to do is click post 
after 30 minutes of waiting. So in the morning when I wake up, I right. click post, we're good to go. So uh, we'll talk to you all later. Like I said, check out our friends over there at Hockey Locker. Check out uh, the Florida Everblades on the ECHL website. Check out the Milwaukee Admirals at milwaukeeadmirals.com and Nashville Predators on the NHL website. You can get also all predator, a lot of good Predators merch from Nashville Locker Room and Admirals gear. You can get it from their website at uh, um, milwaukeeadmirals.com and it'll have a link that says uh, ads gear. Click on that and it'll take you right to their square up page. Uh, the uh, Florida Everblades have a team page as well. Um, you could go out and grab merch from them as well. Hockey Locker, uh, go to their store or call them at 414-800-7585. See y'all later.